So they're having this awesome, awesome match. And Sammy's great. And he's busting out this cabrada and a uh, Spanish fly and a double flip senton through a table. 630 degrees for those of you keeping score at home. Ty runs down to interfere. She looks real good, MGF notes. He's not wrong. Uh, Sammy, of course, tries to win by count out. He's fine with that, but Darby rolls back in. So Max storms to ringside. He's very furious about this now. So they go to do the Eddie Guerrero finish with the skateboard. Toss the skateboard to the baby face. Take a bump. Tell the referee he hit me with that and disqualify him. And it worked. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Hey, listen. If I still you're gonna, can't believe this. If you're going to do a DQ, here's the deal. That spot always gets over when the uh, referee catches it or whatever. And, you know, guys find 55 different ways to to make it. Who was it that really, um, god damn, what was that match where they just, like, kept throwing things and taking bumps? I don't remember, but it was fucking awesome. But, uh, you know, once every two decades, it should work. Because now it'll continue to get over for another I guess that's true. millennia, yeah. maybe, in AEW. But anyway, it was a it was, in fact, a disqualification, which is what I expected to happen here. And, uh, you know... The fans, I think the fans knew that this was setting something up. They didn't, like, start throwing stuff at the ring or anything like that. So, they are putting the boots to Darby, Dar to Darby, yes. Until Jungle Boy eventually saves. He was not there to stop MGF from interfering. And uh, this beating was going on for a while before he got there. They were like, going to hit him with a skateboard. That's what was uh, lying too far for Jungle Boy. And he gets out there. And he clears the ring, and he goes to help Darby up, and Darby's like, you fucker. Where the hell were you? I got my ass beat. I lost this match because you weren't there to stop MGF from screwing me. He's right about all this. He's yes. 100% right. So MGF does a promo. He suggests Jack go stick a banana where the sun don't shine. Suggests Darby use his tears to play with himself while listening to My Chemical Romance. Wow. I laughed really hard. But not everyone laughed. Not everyone laughed because Tony Schiavone got to his feet and he points at MJF and says, listen up, you prick. <laughs> yes, it's true. Sammy Guevara has won this tournament. He has earned a title shot. But I just heard from Tony Khan and he may not be the only one because next week there's going to be a tag team match. Darby and Jack versus Sammy and Max. And if Darby and Jack can win, if they can coexist, and get that victory. They'll be added. And it'll be a four-way at the pay-per-view. And Darby and Jack, I should note, did shake hands at the end here. Yeah, they did come to an agreement. You know what I, I liked about this? I mean, the match was, was very, very good. And they did a finish to set up next week. But what I liked about it is, you know, they, they could have done a deal where it's a DQ. But then, you know, Tony announces that, you know, we're throwing this all out. And we're going to start over with this for... But they didn't do that. What they what Tony actually ruled was that Sammy was the winner. Even though it was bullshit, and even though they were going to, you know, add another stipulation to it for next week with the tag match, the fact of the matter is he advertised a tournament. And if you would have just, you know, because of what everything am, throw the whole tournament out, you would have advertised something that you just kind of threw out. And you want the fans to believe that when you advertise something, you're going to deliver. And granted, what they delivered here was a count out and a disqualification. But they did deliver the tournament. And so his announcement began with Sammy was the winner. And so he was guaranteed a shot at the pay-per-view. Because you could argue, why didn't Tony just come out and say, hey, you know what? Sammy's, you know, this thing's got all fucked up. You guys are working in cahoots. So you know what? Sammy, you're out. And it's going to be MJF versus Darby and Jungle Boy at the pay-per-view. You know, you could argue that could be the booking. But in storyline here, Tony was sticking to what he booked. He booked a tournament. They fucked around and they screwed up the tournament. But you know what? He announced a tournament and this guy won. And so he's going to the pay-per-view. But he can perhaps get the other two guys back in with this tag team match here. So... I, I'm sure that some people didn't like the way that they did it, but I like that they at least did announce a winner, and then they added the stipulation for the match next week to see if those other guys could get a second shot and get back in. What do you think of this, Jeff? Yeah, I thought it was a really creative way to end things. I mean, I think, you know, a lot of people kind of figured we're heading towards the fatal four-way, so I think having such a situation where you can kind of deliver on the tournament but also 
have some kind of interesting turns along the way was good. Um, Taz seemed to really enjoy the pickles. I saw a picture that he posted on Twitter of him eating one of Max's pickles, and you've never seen a guy so happy. To wow. Eat so really happy for Taz. He claimed he didn't like pickles, and then he found out he liked them. Hmm. I think he said he was watching his sodium, but apparently he's That's not right. too close. So That's right, yes. The main event. I was so disgusted. Why does a guy like that that's been a champ for so long have to have three guys come in and help him? Disgusting, isn't it? Yes, it is so disgusting. There was a lot of great matches. There was the first day. The second day was back to this same old crap. Her favorite was Gunther versus Drew versus Sheamus. Oh, Inter- I hate Gunther. You hate Gunther? Really? Mm. What do you hate about him? Just doesn't look right to me. <laughs> it doesn't look right to you. Okay. All right. His favorite was the first 34 minutes of Cody Roman. His least favorite was the final three seconds of Cody Roman. Granny, do you agree with any of these uh, opinions here? What was that? I think she fell asleep. Yeah. Bailey was on Wheel of Fortune. Mm-hmm. And by E. By E? It said by E. Big E. I Big guess. E. Okay. Big E. <laughs> okay. <laughs> For your birthday this year, I'm not going to get you something decent. You're going to get nothing. Granny. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Comic book villain, I keep saying this. If you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, the Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.